I would like to integrate e to the x to the x over 1 plus e to the 2x. So um, this is just kind of a miscellaneous problem um, for which I'll do a, um, a couple of or uh, three, four more videos um, about such miscellaneous problems. So this becomes the integral of e to the x over over 1 plus e to the x squared plus a bar e to the x e to the x squared dx. Uh, now, I'm just going to substitute e to the x as some u. Substitute e to the x as u. So I get that du is equal to um, one of the most amusing things. Uh, derivative of e to the x is e to the x. So this is just e to the x e to the e to the x dx. Um, so this becomes the integral of above we have e to the x dx which we just found is du du over 1 plus um, e to the x but that is u right u squared. Now um, this this should be a, a a standard integral for you but if it isn't then I'm going to consider something here so let's assume that I want to differentiate the tangent inverse of x so I'll just do an aside here so let's suppose that y is equal to the tangent inverse of x and now let's take the tangent of both sides to get that x equals the tangent of y x equals the tangent of y now let's differentiate both sides with respect to x so we get that dx is equal to um, now we use the chain rule we get that this is the secant squared of y times dy right um, so if we solve for dy by dx here dy by dx will be equal to uh, 1 over secant squared which is cosine squared or I'll just write it as secant squared 1 over secant squared of y which is the same thing as 1 over 1 plus tangent squared of y right it's the basic identity so this becomes 1 over 1 plus tangent of y is x so this becomes 1 over 1 plus x squared so if uh, the derivative of tangent inverse of x is 1 over 1 plus x squared then the integral of 1 over 1 plus x squared with respect to x should be tangent inverse of x right and I think that that's what we see here so this is the just the uh, integral of uh, 1 over 1 plus u squared but it's just with respect to u so that doesn't change things very much so this is nothing but the tangent inverse instead of an x we have a u so it's tangent inverse of u and we can add a constant here uh, but we don't um, write the answer in terms of um, in terms of um, u but we should write it in terms of x uh, because that's for what the original question had right so this becomes the tangent inverse of u we just substituted as u to the e to the x so this is the tangent inverse of e to the x plus plus some constant so yeah um this was uh, a u substitution problem but kind of required the the knowledge of the derivatives of inverse trigonometric functions. Okay, so um, I'll do a few more videos on such miscellaneous problems involving trigonometric uh, uh, trigono uh, trig identities and uh, trigonometric uh, ratios, etc. Um, so I'll see you in the next video.